Hey everyone, welcome again. I hope everybody is having a great week. Uh, welcome whoever is watching right now. Uh, do let me know how you're feeling this week. It's Thursday, 3 p.m. as usual, every week. That's a creative podcast will be here to share uh, valuable insights for you guys so that you know how uh, you can video market your business to scale up. So, oh, hi, Hui Fang. So, I uh, just wanted to kind of like make sure that everybody is seated comfortably, make sure they have no distractions. This is a very chill session where I try to explain compl- complex stuff, technical stuff into a simple layman way that you can start doing this week on your business. So, this week we are doing, uh, we actually asked a question last week uh, regarding what are the tools that business owners and entrepreneurs actually use for their business to scale their business because I was very curious every week I'm trying to find ways and means uh, that can provide value to you that are watching uh, even if there's one person two persons watching I really appreciate that you guys are still hanging on and you know burst for your business uh, and I noticed there's one thing very interesting uh, last week I watched my own videos for the live cast for like for quite a bit so I noticed that I speak a little bit too fast so uh, if you feel that I'm speaking too fast, do let me know. I'll try to slow down because I get excited and I try to like share everything as much as I can uh, during, during this one hour because there's a lot of information that I really want to share with you guys. Yeah, so do let me know if I need to speed up or I need to slow down. So yeah, that's will, that will be the, the highlight, the main topic of the day. And I'd like to show you the question of the day. Do you have any uh, experience in burnout and also like what have you done uh, to make your uh, like burnout go the way? Uh, is there any methods? Uh, because this will link to the end of the podcast if you want to stay and uh, see because there'll be more information on that. I just wanted to kind of like ask you and if you do, how did you like manage to uh, make, your, make, your, uh, make your burnout actually like fade away or you, is there any ways that you do? So do do let me know. While I'm flashing that, just want to share today's light goal will be 15. Uh, it's an ambitious goal, that's for sure. Uh, because previously we hit the bank 14. 14 on a good day. Seems like everybody was very excited to hit that 10 because uh, the price was a story. Uh, it's a very unique story that if you want to check out on the previous episode, that was uh, quite uh, motivational. And uh, today's price is... If I can hit 15, then of course I will share the do's and don'ts of uh, video marketing. So uh, there are a lot of do's and don'ts. I just shortlist the three that I feel that is one of the most important. So if we, if we hit 15, we're going to do that for sure. Uh, and that's the light goal. Now we are currently four. Uh, we are a little bit more to go. And uh, yeah, that is that. A few more logistics and we will go to the main topic of the day. And next is will be uh, email list. So if you're new here, welcome. So every week we're going to do this uh, Q&A session and of course the main topic. Uh, we ha- uh, I do have an email list for you. So if you are interested in going into video marketing for your own business, uh, be it for your own business or for like you just want to be curious on how does it really work, uh, do feel free to join the email list it's in the description down below uh, for safety and because it's a little bit hard to navigate on YouTube, I uh, allow me to kind of share my screen for you. Yep. So uh, once you go to the live, if you're on this page, I'm just going to the live stream part. This is where the live stream is. So you go to that. Then you just go to this page, uh, no, this this page, Mailchimp, click it. Then you'll go to this page where uh, you can just type in your email email address. Then uh, uh, we, uh, I will give you, I'll provide you this blueprint that I always use for my clients. It's a basic basic blueprint that you need to kickstart. So it's just like an eight-page PDF that I written as much information as I can. I stuff in as much information uh, information as I can that uh, if you really don't know, because uh, there's a lot of people that don't really know how to start. It's like, is it video creation? Is it video marketing? So I kind of mix these two elements together to make it easier to digest so you won't get lost. So uh, that is the email list that if you want to join, 
uh, let me switch back to the original slide back to me yep so uh, while you are still thinking about the question about burnout do you have when you're doing your own businesses now everything is on like at home so business and home is like together merged together so do share your experience uh, I believe everybody has some sort of certain level of burnout so please do share because uh, this will link very heavily on the last part of the podcast okay so uh and one more thing before we go to the main thing sorry to be a little bit draggy uh, but recently we have the government announced that the june 2nd quite a bit of industry can be able to go back so if you are if you don't know uh after june 2nd uh, there'll be a, a few industries that are able to operate uh do check out your own like uh, which industry you are in and uh see whether you are part of the accra code because it's based on what you have applied in your accra and that will reflect on whether your industry can resume operation but of course with safe distancing measures and you know all the covid measures are being implemented so uh, there's some good news for a few of the businesses that are already stuck in this whole thing yeah luckily for me uh, video motion is considered one so we i technically i'm back in business and uh, we can do uh, physical filming and of course, uh, while you're still thinking about the question of the day, please do like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, it does help in the algorithm on YouTube to really spread this word out. Uh, it will help uh, in the long run uh, for people that are interested in such topic. So uh, if you find that it's useful, do that so that whenever there's live and there's video content on YouTube, you will be the first to know. Of course, if you're on your email list, that's even better. So you can have two notifications to tell you that yeah, there's things there that Yuan Chong have posted. Okay, so we go to the main topic. Uh, we are under 6 likes now, which is good. We are on the way to 15. Let's work on that. Main topic of the day. So we, I will try to list it down more in the group form as usual. So it's much easier to digest because uh, I need order to kind of build so that build the suspense. I personally feel that the third point is very important. If you're an entrepreneur, uh, you do not want to miss that because uh, as an entrepreneur, it's very important. Uh, some of the tools that we are taking for granted, but we don't know. So the first one is more general, uh, is to actually get a business coach slash mentor. Uh, I don't know whether you uh, that you know it's actually important uh, to have some sort of support, uh, be it uh, even if it's just a peer, he, he might not be he or she might not be a business owner per se. But if they have went through life experiences, it's actually easier for them to tell you what are the do's and don'ts. Uh, you can actually shorten that process. So knowing that is important because uh, you can have this kind of conversation and you can see the bigger picture of your business model. Because sometimes we are too tunnel vision and we are unable to really see our own business model. So uh, yesterday I actually have a call uh, with one of these uh, mentors that I have uh, and I arranged a meet, uh, like a meeting online. I, I told him like exactly what this podcast is about, what I want to kind of implement and what kind of vision I have for the next six months. Uh, I do plan a little bit in detail when I'm trying to do something big uh, and I noticed uh, he actually questioned, he was like, so what is this about? Like, when I enter this, uh, what exactly the value am I gaining? So, uh, things like that, he actually questioned as an outsider. And from there, you can actually see why your things are actually not as perfect as you think. What what you think that is valuable and what people deem you as valuable is very different. So, you have to go and explore and ask. It doesn't even have to be a mentor. I think you can just ask any strangers, anyone... Uh, of course, try to be someone that is more uh, third tier, like not really a friend, but more of a stranger. Ask them, what do you see as valuable? Because having friends, having family to tell you that is not accurate because they might be biased. And I don't want that to kind of like smudge your vision. So make sure that you ask community, like you guys, like everything I'm not sure. Uh, because this podcast life is actually based on what you guys ask every week. So I'm just going to navigate through like what are the things that you guys want so that I can craft out. Then you guys will, will want to absorb it because no point I throw a lot of information that doesn't make sense and it doesn't really bring value to you. So ultimately what I want for you is what you guys want. 
So uh, do get a business coach or mentor. If you don't really know where to get a mentor, uh, do I just want to kind of like share. Uh, I do have a business breakfast group. It's called BBSG. I believe most of the people watching right now are actually from there. Uh, it's from there. So uh, I when I started my own business a year ago, like full, like really registered as a, uh, from a freelance to a full time, uh, that's the first group that I joined, and I never regretted my choice joining it. Uh, it's a very supportive group. I do want to share like this chance to kind of share to you guys. So, but before that, just gonna off this a while. It's a little bit distracting. And hi, hi, Fencios, Kaiser. Uh, I know you're in the BBSG group. Uh, welcome, welcome to the podcast. I uh, really appreciate that you come here. Oh, you're from Bali. Oh, I thought actually when you wrote this uh, on the WhatsApp, I actually thought you are you are you are working in Singapore. So I, I hope you are staying safe and I hope everyone is staying safe during this period. Uh, do appreciate I do appreciate you guys uh, coming and join and give us give me a like for this so that we can uncover the three do's and don'ts for video marketing. Okay, so back to screen sharing. Uh, I need to share the business group. So this is the business group. I will provide in the description down below. Uh, I do want to take this chance to kind of share this amazing group. Uh, it's a group where we uh, group together and as business owners, we, we share our tips and tricks. Uh, we, we share our expertise, we collaborate, we create network. So this is the main three mantra. We enlarge network, enrich collaboration and enhancing opportunities. So we, we do share our ideas. So now because of COVID, we are only managing to do like online. So we did one like last week and uh, it was quite successful. So uh, it's kind of uh, nice to still meet people during this period. So we have quite a bit of uh, things there. So uh, if you're interested, I will share the link. I'm going to type it down on the on the comment section. So do feel free. I'll put it towards the end uh, in the in the main description box. So do check out on the comments below. Uh, I have really pasted a link there. Do check them out. Uh, it's really good that you need a community to build while you're in this uh, business building. So uh, this is the first point. I hope that is valuable to you. The second point, invest yourself in any skill set that is relevant to what you are doing right now. So uh, a lot of people have been saying that. I think when I asked around 15 people, I think six or seven people actually said that. Uh, and it's quite true that you need to invest in yourself. It, it doesn't really have to be what you do, but it can be a supplement of what you do. So for videography, the closest that I can think of is v photography. Uh, then, in fact, I have one uh, wedding videographer, uh, photographer friend that actually took up uh, wedding design, wedding decor. Uh, that is very quite close to what he's doing and uh, you really had to see the, the the pros and cons of what your skill set could really benefit it couldn't be too far apart so uh, do do learn the the pros and cons go and ask like ask people that would you uh, is it a value add if you're gonna sell this is it a value add if it is a value add then maybe you can really consider like learning the skill set evolving yeah it, it could be Investing not just physical items, it can be in investing in the mental, uh, in your business strategy. Yeah, you can invest in uh, courses that could help you. Yeah, just make sure that you invest a bit of time, a bit of budget every year. So every year, I myself will promote, like, uh, not say promote, like, learn skill sets that is relevant. So I, of course, you can start with the free ones like YouTube, and if you feel like there's some limitations, you can go for paid courses. And having paid courses means having a mentor, actually, if you kind of think of it. Uh, if there's a physical session or like an online session that you really talk to the coach, that is considered a mentor, but of course it's a short-term kind of thing. And, oh, hi, hi, Vern. Hi, hi, Vern. Welcome again. Uh, another repeated guest. I'm very happy that you guys joined. Uh, if you guys have came in before, uh, do say hi. Even if the newcomers, please do come uh, just type on the comments and say hi I'll definitely try to interact with you guys while I'm trying uh, to go through with you this <coughs> uh, invest your skill set so do take note of that invest something that could enhance like more like value add yeah but don't don't 
don't scale to the point where it's like spread across. Like if you are too saturated, then you you are master of none, which is quite dangerous. So make sure that you are a few niches, but don't spread too fast, too hard. Uh, if not, you're just selling everything, which is a little bit not focused. So make sure that you are really nailing on the things that you want to do. So for me, it's like editing, uh, being a director, being a producer, how to enhance sound. All these can value add in the final value of video. So every year, I'll pick like two or three. Hi, 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 Janine. Welcome to the podcast live. I'm not sure whether you, you this is the first time. Uh, so do do say hi. <coughs> I believe most of, most of you guys are from BBSG. So hi. I hope I can still be I will bring value. So if you are if you're really keen on certain topics, do let me know. I really want to kind of like go back to the community and ask. So it doesn't have to be necessary video marketing, but it it can be other things under the sun. So. Uh, do let me know because I'm really curious every week I'm really curious to find out what videos I want want to find out so yeah that's my that's my duty <laughs> so uh, that is the second one so once you know what kind of skill set to, to focus on do do check out even skills future I think you can definitely use some of the skills there I mean it's free money government give why not right so uh, let's see oh comment section Still need experts to help outsource. Can't do everything myself. Yes, Hui Fang, totally agree your statement, the sentiment. Uh, if you don't want to, if you want to speed up your business building process, you can hire, and which is one of the things that I'm gonna share later. This is one of the points. Well, not bad. You managed to read my mind, Hui Fang. Yeah, you really had to outsource lah. Uh, the outsource don't have to be like 24-7 with you, but you just make sure that you have some sort of help. And that will be on the later part of the podcast. And yep, Janine, first time here. Yeah, welcome. I hope you are seated nice and comfortable uh, and enjoy a cup of tea in this weather, uh, listening to value-added content. So the next one. We are 9 likes, by the way, so we are a few more to hit 15. Ideally, uh... For those you are watching right now, please feel free to share to whoever peers or business owners that you know right now to tell them to join us. Uh, they will definitely benefit during this this period. Uh, it will really help if you can share this like, at this period. Just click on the link and tell them that, hey, there's this person sharing uh, valuable things. So it will really help. So the next one. Invest on the tools. Okay, the next one is invest on the tools. Sorry, I need to write everything on the note because it's really a lot of words. I just want to make sure that I don't miss out anything. The next one, invest in tools and system. So what does why actually what does it really mean by that? You need to know your uh the tools that can simplify your process. Okay, so maybe you have a set of ways that you do things all along. And you can go and find out exactly how people do their operation. Uh, it could be finance related, it could be operational related. Ask among your peers. So I do weddings and I do video production. So I usually will tend to ask people around that realm. Uh, I even ask them like how to do your tax. How how do you do your tax for the first year? That kind of thing. And uh, people that will actually tell you actually save a lot of time. So spending the time and go and invest in tools, uh, there are actually some tools that I find that is very useful that I'm going to share a little bit later uh, that make my life a lot easier and don't have to think about it. Uh, one of the things is actually Wave. Uh, that's the cheapest option that out there that is the most intuitive. I'm not sure. I think uh, for people that have been doing for a while in terms of finance, you know Wave is one of the best things. So I'll type in a command. It's W-A-V-E. Uh, it's actually one of the financial app that I produce the the invoice, the receipts for my my clients. So definitely, uh, one of the best things I ever done. I I can't show you because there's a lot of uh customer information. So uh, do do check out Wave. Uh, it's very help handy and even remind my clients to pay if it's like overdue and stuff. Uh, it did simplify because before that I was using Excel sheet which is like crazy mad. I don't even know why I'm doing that, but. I wasted like a lot of time aligning, transferring when the app itself can do everything for me. Cause it's on the phone, on the platform, so literally you can just add in any time. 
Hi, hi Grace. Hi Grace. Welcome, welcome to the podcast. Uh, really appreciate uh, you came over. So, uh, what's next for me? Okay, so what, what are the services that I personally use as a videographer slash media strategist for my clients? Uh, which is, uh, okay, for this live stream thing, right, quite a, quite a people, people have asked me like, how, how do I do that? So, I'm using this thing called Ecamm. Uh, it's in the description down below if you're interested to live stream. This is the most proper, most, uh, most proper thing that I can use to talk to you guys and see comments, flash comments, show words, show, show pictures, yeah, show all these little finicky stuff. So, uh, so yeah, this is one of the things. So live stream, there's Ecamm. The things I want to share is music services because as a videographer, I need to find out find music to for the videos to make it more engaging to create a mood that pace and uh, if you are interested in using for your own video marketing which you definitely need video without audio is just very weird uh, just make sure to click on the affiliate link on the description down below I am do affiliate with them so do take note if you are clicking on it because they are giving one month free trial for anyone that click through at the bottom Oh, hi, hi, Shirley. I think I miss your one. Hi, hi, Shirley. So, uh, if you are interested in using mu music, professional music licensed, is paying by every month. So, the first month is free. First month is on me. So, uh, do click on that link so that you can get the one month free. Then you can try it out. They have sound effects. They have, uh, they have music for it. So, do, do take a try. It, it makes my hunting for music so much easier because if you're just gonna randomly click some Google music and stuff you know it's actually illegal it has a copyright thing that is there so the moment you post it's gonna get whacked down so in order to solve that problem make my life 10 times easier and to make the song the song choice actually more quality because I noticed the most of the free ones are actually not very not very corporate and it's very stale so just make sure that when you are opting for something the tool must be in some level that is more reputable in the real industry that this tool that i shared is one of the most commonly used uh it's definitely gonna be value adding for you so there's that uh i'm not sure whether you guys are using any crm uh i'm gonna be frank uh my only crm is actually excel sheet so i don't invest in any particular CRM tool because I still find it very confusing so I would rather just use my Excel sheet and my app Trello so as you can see just now just want to share screen again I use a lot of Trello so even in this podcast I'm still using Trello behind this you can see at the back there's so many tabs that I keep track of so I have another tab another group of uh, this Trello thing to create like uh uh for to to manage my to kind of manage my customers so from there it's actually much easier so i just drag and drop transfer it's like a little bit like post-it note okay so we uh that is that and of course trello so crm technically trello if you have any like recommendations of these kind of tools that i mentioned that could be even better than what i what i have said do do type on the comment yeah, do type on a comment, share with everyone. Share with me, I don't even know. So, uh, I might be ignorant and I might be sharing what I feel that is right. But if you guys have better opportunities or better like uh, experience with other apps, do do share with us. Then we can like check it out right right on the spot. Yeah. So, uh, the next one. Okay, before I go to the last two points, right? Just want to kind of like take a break and share something that is a little bit off for you guys to kind of digest first so uh this this break is actually like i actually did a poll i did a poll and um just wanted to kind of share that poll what what that poll is about so i i uh if you are in this facebook group we do have a facebook group so if you are new here this facebook group it's actually in the description down below. Lah. So this, this Facebook group is a group of people that are interested in video marketing. So uh, it's in the description down below. You just click it. So let me sample a little bit. Go to your 
or go to the Facebook group. Okay, go to this one, join the Facebook group, click on it. Then you can go to this uh, video marketing group. I in recent recently, I think yesterday morning, I did post uh, a poll in the group and also uh, of course in a few more community uh, talking about uh, what for the pioneer batch what are the things that you want me to cover in video creation video marketing for your business uh, i did write like a quite a few uh, like a, i think i think 10 10 things that uh, would be more relevant and it's based on voting so uh, the higher the poll the chances of me creating that will be like super high so uh, if you have not joined this group, please do join and vote because your vote will really affect how this course is all about. So you can see the first two seems to be the most popular, the free and effective ways to market using videos. And of course, business strategies that work with video marketing. So you might not know that actually, sometimes we craft our video marketing strategy. We have to align with your business objective for the year. And of course, sometimes your marketing strategy so these three things is actually not the same. You have to make sure that it's helping each other along the way. So again, please do join the Facebook group. Uh, I've already provided the link. So uh, do join. It definitely help you on that description down below. Okay, just give me uh, like 30 seconds to drink a bit of water. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks Hui Fang for telling me on WhatsApp uh, regarding the background music too loud. I will definitely take note. Yeah, because some music can be like louder than th the rest. So yeah, I will take note of that. Okay, back to the highlight again. Okay, this is the part where Hui Fang actually shared this comment about having experts and outsource. We basically can't do everything ourselves. So uh, this part, Hui Fang mentioned, that's the fourth point uh, in this whole tool that we are all talking about. Hiring people definitely helps. Uh, as for my own uh, business model, it's still not strong enough to have a full-time. Uh, probably now can still afford an intern, uh, but you can actually simplify the process for whoever you are trying to get. <coughs> it doesn't have to be like a decision maker for you, but you can actually get people that can run your business smoothly, especially in the operational side. Sometimes you just need uh, someone to kind of simplify, like ease your process. So uh, make sure that you, you do that. Uh, for me, I will go through this app called Fiverr or this website called Fiverr. Again, uh, description down below is an affiliate link. So uh, if you're going to hire freelancers and stuff, uh, do write, do go to Fiverr and try it out. Uh, we did, for my own uh, wedding brand, videography brand, uh, we did hire someone from there and created our logo, heart to heart. So uh, that kind of things that, because we are, we are not a graphic designer, so no point having me crack my head and try to find things that can design uh, that is not, it's not there, so no point. So uh, doing that could really speed up your process because you really don't want to waste time on things that you are not good at. You you can try to kind of have like a feel of it and understand like the whole the whole workflow and stuff. So it's easier to talk to people in future if you are hiring, but it's not feasible to spend like ninety percent of the time doing the thing that you are not yeah yeah that you are not good at. So no point. So Fiverr is a good site. Uh, anything under the sun. Uh, I would say in future, I might want to try uh, getting sort of like an assistant to kind of tell me w the schedule and stuff because I tend to forget my own meetings and I might not edit in the Google Calendar so that might create some like mismatch of time which is quite critical. Uh, if you have anything that you guys are planning to hire in future to kind of simplify your process but I know right now there's no way to hire la, with this whole COVID thing uh, but Fiverr's things are actually surprisingly cheaper than I would actually uh, thought. Like, the if you're not looking for like super, super amazing, but good enough, 
uh, Fiverr is quite good in terms of like even editing I actually use them actually it's quite good but uh, that is just one of the platforms that I personally use and of course the second last one is invest in social media uh, this is by our dear friend Eugene I'm not sure whether he's in the, the stream today uh, Eugene from BBSG community he did share in the community saying that he invested in social media uh, but investing social media is I would say investing in time not really money because when we always think of investing is about money but actually it's really not about the money it's about how how you uh, like invest time and strategy into social media uh, for your own business I'm not sure whether you guys are already using social media strategy but uh, when I say investing is like really understand the organic reach not really add money per se like as a early stage of adopters of social media we shouldn't if you just started you shouldn't throw money to it because without a plan without a strategy into social media marketing is suicide you're just basically burning money to get exposure and the next question people ask is like so what so what you get 50,000 views if it doesn't convert to anything if you don't put the right CTA you don't put the right meaning and the strategy and the message to it if you are doing that then you are wasting money and I really don't want you to waste so much money because in the past we have seen a lot of clients doing that before they come and find me or my or my team or my digital marketing agencies uh, for advice because they did try and they, they were like oh we, we did social media marketing but uh, at the start if, you, if we throw ad money it will work but then after that it doesn't even marketers actually did do that and they they know in the long run it doesn't work if they don't do their homework or they don't find out their community what they like and what they don't like it's very hard for you to just go straight to throwing money throwing add money to it so when I say investing in the social media make sure that you you have the right strategy uh, and if you're interested in that kind of thing uh, like social media strategy just do let me know in the comment section just type like hey I want to know uh, I will create another separate episode for that because it's going to be like a long chunk that I'm going to type out because that will take like one more whole episode so do do let me know uh, that what you guys are looking for and I'll definitely <coughs> help you achieve that okay so we come to the last one which is invest in your vendors and this this, this particular sixth one is mine uh, most of the most of the advice came from just now the first five and the last one is personally for me because I felt like it benefit me and the community the most uh, because uh, as a wedding videographer my second business you need to com communicate with your vendors uh, you cannot treat them as like competition and like uh, just there being do doing their job but you need to know that they are part of the ecosystem and having this ecosystem means that isn't it better to treat them well and work on referrals work on things that can help each other so what I did before this COVID started I wrote to quite a few companies like wedding videographer or photographer or basically anything anything you name it stylist, florist makeup artist photographers, videographers you know, we are trying to find ways that we can uh, benefit more of like a win-win situation if you have that kind of mentality it will definitely help you uh, to kind of bridge the gap because uh, what we did was we did a cover so I was like hey I was, I was typing on direct messages by the way direct messages on Instagram Facebook one of the best tools man uh, if you want organic communication right uh, it's not scalable by the way if you want organic you really have to like go and type direct messages to to vendors and they will in return not all but will respond to you it might sound like a cold approach but if typed well or copyrighted well uh, it will definitely work so I was writing to them and say hey uh, do you mind collaboration and I can see that uh, there's potential so I'll provide like video content for you guys in return uh, we can kind of do like a collaboration shoot working with couples 
they are interested in in shoots then uh, our makeup artists would have couples they are waiting to uh, showcase and we can give, provide each other photo or video content for the makeup artist to post for us to post so it's like a cross across the board kind of a collaboration to create to generate content as you know like you need content to drive social media before you can drive ads which means, means that in return you can drive sales so uh, it is important that you need to work in that kind of mentality we shouldn't treat them as competitors you should treat them as friends and you really have to spend some time to talk to the community talk to the vendors and if you treat them well they will definitely remember because you become top of mind which is really really important if you are doing business uh, you want to build as many bridges as you can and you don't want to kind of like eye them as like vouchers you know because sometimes uh, you never know what this bridge will lead to so always see it in a positive manner that could help you and your whoever uh, vendors are doing okay we go we actually clear most of the points um, but before that okay right after this uh, it's gonna be story time one of my favorite times uh, if you are still here awesome you guys are the best. I uh, do have one story that's uh, regarding, uh, it's quite an impactful thing for me. So this this story is about an elephant, uh, a fish, and a housefly. So this tree actually links to quite an important moral story. La. So the first story is about the housefly. So if you put a housefly in a test tube, right? So you need to kind of like know that uh, you put them there, then they will fly around the test tube. So they fly, fly. So halfway through, we put one glass ceiling in between, and the housefly just keep flying within that half of it, bottom half or the top half. And if you fly, then after a while, like maybe one month, you take out. You notice that the housefly don't fly past that ceiling. It is so that that the glass ceiling is there because they keep hitting and keep hitting and keep hitting and they keep thinking that there's no way to the, the thing is still there so that's the first story then the second one it's about the fish so you see like a big fish tank you put the fish there again let them swim the full thing then you put the particular divider or the net then you notice the fish keep bumping into the center piece keep bumping Bam 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 bam. Then later you notice that uh, you take out the net, the fish will still avoid that net because it has been hurt before, and it knows that they can't swim past. So even if you take it out, they also still swim within their own half. Then the last one, the elephant, a young infant elephant, tied on a particular stick with a rope. So this little. Uh, elephant it's trained by their trainers right circus elephant by the way I don't condone that because I don't support this kind of uh, elephant training and circus act so this 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 little small elephant being trained that they cannot leave the they cannot like pull themselves out of the stick and the rope because it's been young and when they are old, old enough right they are huge they will still think that their legs are being bounded by that and they can't seem, seem to pull away from that because they have been so fixated to that to that mentality so these three stories actually lead to like one moral which is like actually you uh, a lot of things that is that you think that you can't do is actually in your head it's all mental uh, mental blockage like it's been like the education system or the people that are around you that tell you that you can't do certain things because you're limited to whatever resources you have or whatever skill set you have but actually you are more than that you are actually you can be able to uh, grow from all this you just need to shake off that mentality and you never know that you, you, you can actually do bad more than what you are doing right now and if you've been feeling like down and unable to kind of pursue what you want to do, uh, 
change your mentality a bit. You never know what will lead to. Try. Yeah, I think try is the right approach. Do try out and tell yourself what works and what doesn't work. You you need to dip your toes into it to tell yourself, yeah, this doesn't work. Oh yeah, this works. So this is a good way to kind of motivate you guys. So I hope uh, these three stories can make you think out of the box and like, hey, I can actually do something even though uh, people around me say that I'm crazy. But yeah, right, entrepreneurship is always crazy. Uh, ideas might not just come instantly. People think that we are wasting time, wasting money, wasting effort. But we we don't actually once you become a, when you are entrepreneur, you are already out of you are already not bounded by limitation of the society. So uh, with that, I salute you guys for being entrepreneurs. It's not easy. Yeah. So same for me. <laughs> it's not easy. So that is my story time. The next one is more Q and A. Uh, if you guys have any question at this point of time, uh, do feel free to ask. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for you guys to type some questions first. Uh, if not, there will be a few set of Q and A questions that I prepared uh, previously, where uh, there are people asking me questions on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whichever channel. Yeah, so uh, do take two three minutes of your time think of uh, any questions that you have uh, regarding your own business your video marketing uh, strategy or did you just buy your own set of gears and you want to know how does it work uh, is there a good way to start is there a process I can do go through with you as much as I can while I sip a few cups of water and playing this music yeah Because I noticed that uh, there's a huge uh, gap between the live stream and what I'm saying, so it'll take a while. Okay, so back to my own. So maybe I'll start first. Uh, Pan from a wedding videographer. He's one of the wedding videographers that I know. I haven't get to see him yet, but uh, I know him through one of a mutual friend that happened to knew that he was in the same army camp as me. So he, he did ask a question last week, uh, but I didn't have a chance to answer. Uh, it was about uh, any social strategies, especially... Uh, you are shooting a wedding is there a social strategy to it like you have all this content lucky for him he, he did have a lot of content uh, because he is a wedding videographer so uh, knowing that that he has some sort of like uh, benefit of having content uh, what can he do with the content there's a lot of things if you have the content or if you do bulk recording you can uh, consider putting uh, cutting into small chunks that's one of the things how you want to remarket your videos because these videos if you cut into small chunks you can refilter them to your channels it could be YouTube it could be Instagram it could be Facebook this big tree you need to know the characteristics of each, cha each channel uh, does Facebook have uh, can post how long like how long is the best so ideally it's like a minute 45 to 3 minutes that is the best algorithm for Facebook. For YouTube, it can be longer. Eight minutes and beyond seems to be the good balance. Instagram, a minute. But recently with IGTV, you can definitely try to post longer content. So you need to know how to 
recalibrate all your content. It's literally like videos and photos that are ready to post. And you should make your own calendar to like tell yourself when to post what. It will take like a whole day to kind of make sure that you have a calendar for like at least the next three months. Uh, you just need to write. You don't have to write the whole thing. You just need to write like what video to post, when should it be done, what kind of caption that you should type. Then make sure that you you monitor the content, like what works. You know, measure the video results or the photo results by statistics. The numbers doesn't lie to you, so you just follow that, and you see what works. Then you calibrate from there. You don't have to do like a whole year, but you can just do to start with like two three months. For us, hard to hard, we we do like a uh, one month because we know that it's a little bit tedious. So, uh, I expect the thing to kind of like a one month's worth lah. So that is that. And another thing is like, I I what I told him was another thing was focus on your own uh, personality. Uh, when you have a brand, especially a personal brand, cause his brand is very very personalized. It's like pun. Literally, his name and his signature. So make sure that you know. Uh, are you doing your personal branding or is it a company branding? And if you are personal branding, how can you bring your personal personality to your company that more your company's brand? So that part you need to be very very clear. Uh, because if not, you might have a personality clash with your company's brand, which is quite deadly. Uh, you might not know that actually. Uh, your personality might clash with your company's characteristics. Hence, posting you as a founder uh, might detriment the brand. So you need to know how you should put your own persona, how you should shape your persona to match with your character or your company's character. So that was what I told him. The next question is more of like how to market your uh, from our dear friend. Our dear friend Gabriel from BBSG, he mentioned like how to market your training programs on a uh, low budget or no budget for social media marketing. So, um, training video wise, um, I would say the sh- only social media or at least the one that I've, the ones that I tried is really uh, reach out to the community yourself, asking questions on what they feel like. They would benefit from your training program. Again, uh, before I dive into like, uh, w- there's a lot of details about why you shouldn't just uh post a program there and wait. I think in this time and age, posting something and hope p- the people will come back and return to become viral is that doesn't work. So you need to know that uh, there's you 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 need to kind of understand that training program. N- nobody just wake up one day and just say, "Hey, I need to buy a course. I need to buy a training course." No, no one, no one works in this kind of uh, mentality. People usually would have an issue first, like, oh, "Okay, uh, I have, I have a problem that needs training. I want to find a training program." That is the right way. So you need to know exactly what your, what your consumers are having issues. And that's why I always push for asking questions. Like I will ask you guys, like what other questions do you have, to you know, uh, that I can help so that I can craft the course, or uh, the free course or the free PDF, based on what you need, and not what I think that is important. Because if you create uh for for him for Gabriel, he is more of a robotics kind of person. He needs to know like, uh, what age group are they aim- aiming for. Uh, and what are the problems they usually face when doing robotics? What are the pain points do you think is important in robotics? I didn't have uh, enough time to kind of like find out what he actually meant. He just gave me a very vague uh, statement. So I do hope that helps uh, answer that particular part. So you need to really find out before you go into any social media strategy. Uh, but if you really want to do in social media strategy, I will highly recommend uh, Instagram. Facebook, these two are the main players, and if you can, you can create a webinar to share your s- share your niche to the niches of people that would really feel like it's valuable to them, or uh, invite them to some online talks uh, regarding this particular topic. Schools might be interested, tuition centers might be interested, 
I feel like educational platform right now is the best for you to write to them, write to parents. Uh, parents could be a good pool of people that are waiting. Are you j- not just say social media, but then the social media to the right people. If you are marketing to the wrong people, then uh, if they are not parents, then why would they want to throw their kids to you to publicize the course? Uh, we have a BBSG Exco member. His name is Daddy. He he did his uh, he he did this sort of approach where he find the right niche of people, parents especially, that will want to give their kids more extra uh, things to learn during this May holiday period. And this is the best time to work with parents because they are the right group of people that you should spend time on or at least spend uh, spend some effort on like talking to them, finding out their needs, then maybe craft something out towards when you have like finalized all the needs and the wants. So uh, I, I won't go to ads, ad money because I feel like we should, as we just started all this, we should focus on the content and the deliverables and the value to your viewers first before we talk about ad money uh, because that early stage of work is more important than ad money. Ad money can come later which definitely will work. And of course, uh, he, he did ask me about MailChimp. Uh, MailChimp is the place where you can collect data. So just same as my email list that I, 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 I publicized just now. Uh, you have to provide something in return. So uh, if Gabriel, you can do that, then uh, you can try to provide something in return. Uh, it can be a video tutorial, like a demo, uh, it could be PDF, blueprint, it, it could be a lot of things. You have to kind of nail down exactly what people want. And based on what they want, you push to them, not say push to them, you convert them into using email lists. Then you collect the data from there. But of course, there are more ways than just co- collect blindly like that. Uh, because uh, this is the most straightforward step. So if you never heard of MailChimp, it's a very good uh, email collection space where you can post your weekly stuff, you can automate stuff. You can find out your, you can nurture your group. I think nurture is the right word. You can nurture your pool of people that really wants to learn. Yeah, and you can uh, slowly understand what they need. And it becomes your, your test money to know what they want. Because you have like direct permission to really ask them questions, find out more. But of course you need to push some participation, create polls, uh, make sure that they give you the answers to navigate your business. So uh, that is that. I'm not sure that you guys have any questions. Uh, please feel free to uh, type in the comment what you would want to ask, at least for this week, before I prepare to go to the last part of the whole uh, live stream we are seven minutes left so i don't want to i don't want to burst the time that's my that's my target every time i want to focus on the value so the last part uh, before i go to the to the ending or the closing uh for people that again email this is very handy if you really want to learn or take off your video marketing you're not sure how you want to start now uh, this is the best starting point this podcast life is the best starting point for you and uh, do ask because if you ask you can get in return answers and that would speed up your process you shouldn't just hold and wait and if you have any difficulties this community is definitely gonna help yeah so today sadly we didn't manage to hit 15 likes we were like 9 so uh, I can't share that do's and don'ts but I'll definitely share on uh, future episodes so uh, if whoever that's just joined hopefully can still provide the like our target is 15 today so yeah so there's that okay the next one uh, oh the question is uh, what do you want me to cover for the following week Uh, because you can give me suggestions and stuff we will definitely I will definitely keep in mind with all the topics that been sharing with me. Do type in the comment section to let me know. If you're not sure how to type or where to type the comment section, I can do uh, explain to you because previously there was a 
viewer that was unable to do so, so she wrote to me directly. So uh, if you don't know how to type, please let me know. I'll definitely show on share screen. And the last part uh, is like a mini story. I just wanted to kind of share it out. Uh, that leads to the final point that I want to share. So uh, I'm sure that everybody now is working at home. Uh, except now, you're just chilling five more minutes to start your work. Uh, it's something to do with like burnout. So since every we, we can't really go out, so there's this kind of like pressure cooker kind of mentality where you when you're working and you're home, then there's house chores and stuff, like everything's all over the place. Uh, then you got like family to take care, family time, work all blend together. Uh, is there a time where you feel like burnt out and there's like you got like a whole list of things to do but you are unable to execute them that day even though you write down like the whole perfect plan but you're so overwhelmed by the thing that you start to feel burnt out you slow down you are unable to focus and the key word here is focus you're unable to do that and you, you feel frustrated if you feel like frustrated you are not alone a lot of people are facing that because uh at least for my area, I noticed there's a lot of more family commotion happening around my block. Everybody is like <laughs> shouting. There's increase of family arguing with each other. So that is quite a scary period. Like, like we are just about one month only. And there's like more and more tension around the blocks. And we know that these things are all built inside. Because a lot of people are losing their jobs and there's more like there's all like all this family they are unable to release their steam so now they just like shout to each other so there's all these things that's coop, coping inside so uh, if you can do let me know like the number of hours that you work at home and your family time like write a ratio or something 60, 40 or something yeah do do write and share with me like what's the number of hours that you work yeah like eight hours for uh, for eight hours work then maybe the rest is family time then sleep yeah just want to kind of know like where you guys are at then uh, that make while you are typing I will continue my point so like what I say like uh, next week is a topic about burnout and about focus and about going into the zone when I say the zone is like when you are the most fresh, you are the most alert, you can execute things according to plan without any distraction, without any burnout uh, to strengthen your focus, coping mechanism and the mindset for greater results. So uh, next week, I'm actually getting the first ever guest for Let's Get Creative podcast for the live section. Previously, we have pre-recorded podcasts uh, for, with other guests. This time around is live first time with a speaker uh, she is not under the NG NG from BBSG uh, she is a coach a coach that bring value to a lot of people so uh, she is the founder of Natural Genius Academy so uh, I was happened to have a chat with her uh, yesterday or the day before about uh, how it's life and you know, catching up with her and I noticed that I myself have a little bit of burnout check out with the recent developments and uh, there's a lot of projects that's running that is not self-sustainable so I'm um, trying to work on that and she was like hey uh, maybe I could help you with this uh, see if you kind of need help then we were just sharing thoughts and ideas and she volunteered herself uh, on getting on board to kind of share her her focus this focus challenge thing uh, that she would want to bring value to you guys that are watching so uh, thanks Angie for volunteering yourself for uh, next week's content. Uh, she had proven methods and she trained over 1,000 personnel. I told her to write an intro because uh, I don't really know how to introduce a person very well. So it's better that she write her own bio. This is much easier. So to help you provide the best uh, ability to focus on your, on your, uh, on your business. Lah. So uh, if you guys not sure whether you guys have watched until the part where I tell you to write. Yeah, please feel free to write. I'm still I'm still monitoring while I'm sharing. So no worries. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. So the next one.
yeah, sadly, uh, we didn't hit the 15, we are, we are 10, we are 5 away from the light, sadly it dropped, uh, but we will try to focus on the likes on the next following week so that I can share the do's and don'ts. Uh, definitely appreciate you guys staying until like 4. For people that uh, managed to stay this far, I thank you so much for, for joining. It really helps me to make sure that this thing can keep going. As long as there's one person in this, I'm definitely going to do. So I uh, really appreciate your time. If you have anything that you want me to cover in the following weeks, please share. You don't need to uh, shy. Just, just type it out. I will definitely want to know. Yeah, Write down your struggles your worries about uh, this current COVID season and is there things that you are doing right now to help your business share with me share with the comments I'll leave this uh, live stream another 5 minutes this actually marks the end but I do just want to have a short conversation with you guys type in the comments let me know how you feel today's session I hope I bring enough value for this episode uh, and yeah, we managed to survive an hour because I noticed that it, it takes a lot of stamina to cover one hour's talk. So uh, share with me, share with me. This is an open platform to talk and share. Change the camera. Yeah, so actually this series is the end. So uh, again, thank you so much for sharing. If you have anything, this is the last few chance that you're going to type. Uh, now I definitely would want to know how your struggles are and your worries are. Yeah, feel free to type. Uh, yeah. Let me just put like two more minutes for you guys. I really scared I missed out anyone so to make sure that I don't miss I better put at a timeline so if you can see yep so uh, two more minutes for you guys just gonna put the timer so this strikes and I'm, I'm just gonna end the live stream
Actually, for you guys, uh, sorry, uh, before the thing strikes, finish the two minutes, I just want to ask, like, uh, what's the best time for you guys that if you want to watch the next episode uh, so that I can align with uh, NG and, of course, with everyone here? Uh, do let me know what is the preferred timing uh, in, a, in a full day. Let me know which part of the day would be more preferred so that I can better serve you guys. Eleven, <laughs> eleven likes, still wasted. Dang, <laughs> almost hit. Yeah. So do let me know the timing that you preferred. 